did my undergraduate in mechanical engineering, working in Accenture for past three years and planning for master in engineering management. How is the future of this course? And I have also come across a lot of comments that getting a job in New Zealand is very tough. Can you give your opinion? You have a very good background already working in Accenture for the last three years and you have uh, an undergraduate in mechanical engineering and engineering already is in our um, long-term skill shortage list so definitely yes there will be a, there are a lot of comments uh, about uh, i think on youtube and some other places where so, uh, you'll see that one which says uh, my friends tell me you can't i can't find a job in new zealand what's your opinion or something like that so there are a lot of people who actually unfortunately put up a lot of negative comments uh, about uh, uh, chances and opportunities in New Zealand and I don't blame them because a lot of them come so unprepared into New Zealand uh, and uh, when I say unprepared they come with uh, terrible advice uh, they come uh, into courses which have nothing to do with their background uh, they come into a new foreign country into a new culture with absolutely no support and their life here becomes a, a, a fight for survival from day one so these guys are so caught up in that whole survival mode that they are not simply not able to uh, do it the right, like, uh, the right logical way. They land here, they realize the course is wrong, their college is wrong, their city is wrong, their future career is wrong. And it all starts with the right advice, which is why I'm appreciative of the fact that you are talking to us right now at this stage and taking the time to sit and watch the broadcast and ask a question to an expert like myself sitting here in New Zealand and answering your questions. Fantastic. So people like yourself who come with the right preparation, talking to the right advisors, choosing the right path, the right course, Master of Engineering Management, fantastic course. And doing a master's, you'll get a three years post-study work visa. And then there are people like us because you're choosing to work with us who will then be there to give you that moral support, that courage, uh, that networking ability and all those kinds of things. But all these things put together, of course, your chances or your probability of uh, success goes up so much more. And that's the kind of decisions that you guys and girls need to be doing is to work with the right advisors and people who are genuinely committed to your success as much as, you know, we, as we are to our own success. So that's the way. Also, bear in mind, Darshan, we do not, and everybody else listening to this broadcast, we do not work with every Tom, Dick and Harry who uh, picks up the phone and gives us a call because we are constantly evaluating our clients for English, for uh, proper funding, for the sincerity of purpose and uh, whether their academics and work experience is genuine uh, and uh, you know they have the personality to be able to do well in New Zealand. So we kind of quite frankly we uh, you know, we say we are working with students, but I think we actually are working with future residents and citizens of this country. So